All right, cat. You knew I was gonna do it. <laughs> um, so, cat just posted a video on hallucinogenics <clears throat> and drug use, and um, in terms of ritual and magical practice, and um, I have, I have some few points and you know ideas and what that entails. So now, um. Um, in regards to my contribution to global witches um, uh, and and chaos magic. Now I'll, I'll, we'll go into chaos magic and um, ritualistic uh, drug use. Okay. Now um, I've always been really rebellious, <laughs> and I've always just did things because I um, I was uh, against the establishment. No, but. Um, uh, so I've experimented, and I, um, but it wasn't until I got deeply, deeply involved in, in my, in the, in the craft, and I really started to experiment with, um, psychedelics. Now, um, I'm all about using psychedelics in, um, in ritual and in spell work. Um, whether or not you want to go get high, it's up to you. It's not on me. <laughs> but, um. In, in regards to spell work, uh, I, I, for me personally, I, I do it because it does expand my mind. I'm able to tap into parts of myself that I, I couldn't or I can't really do unless I did extensive breath work and meditating. But being the ADHD person that I am, I have a hard time sitting down and clearing my mind and thinking about nothing because my mind is constantly going. Um, I, um, certain herbs, mushrooms, and, um, plants have certain effects on the brain. Um, and I'm talking about natural substances, not man-made chemicals that, um, people take and get really addicted to. Um, I know when, when I first started using for the sake of ritual, the experience was really intense. And um I guess if any if I mean I'm I'm pretty sane. Like I'm here, I'm not crazy, I don't hear voices. Well I do hear voices, but um they're okay. <laughs> um the first time I experienced uh you know the drug use under the under ritual it was a really intense experience and I was able to tap into parts of my being that I didn't even know existed and when I um, I was able to actually quiet my mind and actually walk through the, the realms of my mind actually and and to see things that you can't see here on on the physical plane um, I was able to not necessarily astral travel, but my mind was able to go to different different places and pull things out. And I and now more than anything, I, I will use um, substances for my readings because I can tap into whoever I'm reading, and um, when I get stoned. <laughs> So, um, when I'm giving you a reading, and I am high, I can, I can see parts of you that you are hiding, I can see things that you don't remember, I can see things that are, um, that go into your past lives, and I can see things that go into your future. Um, now, does that have the same effect with everybody who's under the influence? I don't know. I'm not them. But I know what it is for me. Um, in regards to chaos magic, chaos magic is all about using your subconscious and using your mind. I mean, a lot of the deities or entities that are used in chaos magic, a lot of it, um, I know some of them stems from, stems from science fiction. Um, Lovecraftian gods and monsters, and, I mean, those are you know, just characters written in books, but because the human mind is so strong, uh, 
and when, um, especially the power of belief, you know, um, what was I going to say? Because we give power to the gods, and that's how they give power to us. And a lot of these myths, legends, and stories all have energy, all have power. And the more we feed it, the powerful they get. They become more and more alive. And those are just entities. But anything that your mind can think of can be created. And it's only us who put a, a block on that. Because um, what, what we've been taught... So when we, when we were little... Um, through our parents or, you know, even in school, we've always been taught that, oh, magic is just make-believe, this is just fake, so you have, we have that stuck, when well, you have it stuck in your mentality, and if you, when you have it stuck in there that long, you're going to believe it, you know, and then it's going to become very real for you. Now, uh, but luckily when we're kids, we have, um, a very strong imagination and our minds create things. You ever see um, kids who have imaginary friends? Just because we can't see them doesn't mean they're not really there, okay? Obviously that child has created some kind of manifestation and, um, you know, can see something. Especially like um, when we're adolescents and we are able to create things on the outside world instead of um, more than um, in our heads. Now, um, think about being a teenager, thinking, especially girls, okay? The emotions we have are so raw and so new and so chaotic. You know, those feelings and those emotions are going to manifest somehow, so that's why it's a little difficult for a lot of um, people when they're, when they're teenagers, because everything is so new and everything is just now being experienced. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, I, I, I'll tell you an experience I had, um, with, uh, hallucinogenics, okay? And these were hallucinogenics I purchased at the Stow, okay? <laughs> and that's, I mean, it was a smoke shop. I went and I, and I smoked this substance called, um, it's a, it's a form of synthetic cannabinoids, okay? And I had never tried it. In fact, I thought it was going to be lame. I thought that it wasn't going to do anything, but, um, so I tried it, and I, I was actually in the middle of doing some spell work, and, um, something in particular, and so I decided to smoke some of it before I went into ritual. Now, when I was in this state which I call a trance state, and this is trance work, okay, it's very important you learn trance work somehow, whether it's through hallucinogenics, or it's through, um, you know, like breath work and, you know, dancing or whatever, but, um, I was able to focus my mind, I was able to actually connect with the deity I was working with and feel their presence and actually literally see them, okay, now, that's because I, I, under the influence, my, I allowed myself to see those things, I allowed my, uh, it was really easy, my fear went down, my inhibitions went down, I'm not completely, I wasn't really fucked up, I mean, I, I had a pretty good idea what was going on, but, um, the, the, any mental blocks that I had, they went away, and I was able to concentrate. Now, I didn't smoke a lot. I mean, I smoked enough to where I knew that I can control my magic and what I was doing. Um, now, if you want to go get really high, go get high. I'm not going to stop you. But if you're going to do it for ritual, you need to make sure that you're aware of what you're doing and that you're not lost or high or staring off into space and not able to concentrate. There's a point where you get stoned and you're really fucking high and you just don't know what the hell's going on. You need to not get to that point during spell work or ritual because you're just gonna fuck your magic. I mean, it's, it's, it's pointless, okay? But, um, 
don't know, that's my whole thing on it. I'm actually going to make another video a little later, so, um, and I want to talk about the power of Psalms, okay, um, now, uh, Kat got me into using the Psalms, and I'll be honest, and I have never worked with the Psalms before, and I don't have that affiliation with Christianity or God, so I was like, really? And she's like, just do it. I'm like, oh, okay, so, I was like, fuck, okay, so I, I, I was writing down a psalm for this spell I was doing, and then I was, as I was writing it, I realized that I was able to connect with the deity that I was working with really intensely, and I know it's like, the psalm you're, you're referring to, you know, God or whatever, but I didn't see that. Now I understand. This shit has power. So I'm going to work with Psalms a lot more. Um, so thank you, Kat, for that. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of all I really wanted to say. I know, like, I kind of just did this video, like, on a whim. So hopefully, um, I should really write down. Write this I'm not a really good teacher, okay? I mean, I can teach, but I mean, I don't have a lesson plan or or anything. So I'm trying my best, and hopefully, I can get a lot of information out to you guys. So thank you. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. Um, but yeah, I'll make a. I'm, I'm gonna make another video actually today. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I have the urge to make a video for Global Witches today, so I'm gonna uh, work on that. So it'll be a surprise.